So we need an experiment that will enable us to measure this quantity. And that's where we get joule, and I like to say a joule's free expansion. It's usually referred to as the joule free expansion, which sort of implies that no energy flows, which actually is true. But it's an experiment proposed by Joule, and the experiment involves an adiabatic box. So we have system insulated from the outside world, and we have two bulbs. And there's a valve between them. And so we have gas and we have vacuum. So the joule free expansion involves opening this valve and asking what happens when this gas moves into the other bulb or distributes between the two. Well, since the gas is expanding into vacuum, no work is done. Since it's isolated, no heat is added. So D, du is equal to zero because dq and dw are both zero. So we can now take this expression and rewrite it under the condition of du is equal to zero. So we have u, du equal to zero is just a zero here, cv dt constant u plus the derivative du dv at constant t dv at constant u. This is just the number. We don't have to specify that it's, it's measured at constant u. It's just a number. So now we rearrange this expression. And so we get du dv at constant t is equal to minus cv times dt u over uh, dv u, or minus cv, partial derivative of temperature with respect to volume at constant uh, free energy, at uh, constant internal energy. So this is the quantity we want. It's related to uh, the heat capacity, the constant volume heat capacity, and something you could measure. What happens as you expand into volume? Does the temperature go up? Does it not change? Joule actually did this experiment, and he observed that uh, for the gas expansions that he could do, that the temperature did not increase measurably. So he made an incorrect uh, conclusion. Because something was small and unmeasurable, he said, well, the best of my knowledge, dt dv at constant u is equal to zero. And that implies that uh, uh, since, since the quantity we want is given by this quantity, which is zero times a constant, the quantity we want is also zero. So it would imply that du was equal to uh, the only the first term, cv dt. Now, this is an important lesson in what you do in science. You make an observation. You make an observation doing an experiment that is as accurate as you can do. And so an experiment said the gas didn't increase its temperature in, when it expanded into the vacuum. And so the next thing you do is you, you call up a journal and say, I've discovered a fundamental law of nature. And uh, so you propose that there is no uh, that this derivative is zero and that the internal energy is given simply by this quantity. 